Are you guys mad at me? So recently, Fake Gamer Girl, another Sims creator here on YouTube, put out this awful shell challenge. I literally cannot say enough bad things about this freaking shell challenge. Look at it. There's diagonal pieces. There's one tile long hallways. It doesn't make sense at all. Here is Fake Gamer Girl's YouTube channel. If you guys are not following, definitely go check it out. I think she's not only one of the funniest simmers out there right now, but also I love that she pushes the limits. Like this is not supposed to be a thing. Like it's, it's not. That's awful. You can find the gallery name under Fart Exploder 01 and and this is the shell challenge here. I want to read the rules because sometimes they can be a little different. At this point, you guys know how a regular shell challenge works. I just want to make sure there's no like specific like random rules or something. So basically, y'all wanted a shell challenge. Hope you regret it. You can do anything. Add platforms, fences, windows, doors. Just don't add or subtract any walls. For the exterior, obviously. Good luck. <laughs> Thanks. We're just going to have to attack this thing head on. I'm going to go in and get my flat square. This is like one of the best tools to use. When you're attempting a tricky freaking shell challenge like this, I'm gonna bring it all the way across. By the way, I am knocking this shell challenge. Yes, it is unbelievably terrible, but I love it. So much so that yesterday I posted a video asking you guys if you would be interested in posting your own shell challenges for me to try on the gallery. That post was actually pretty well received, so I think we should go through with it. So if you guys wanna upload your own shell challenge for me to try on my channel, we can make a series out of it. Upload your shells using hashtag try me Sid and I will download and attempt it no matter how terrifying it may be exhibit a so right now what I'm trying to do with these like flat square pieces is get a base so that I can kind of visualize where my roof is going to go I'm trying to make a pattern basically that doesn't make me want to vomit <laughs> I'm gonna square off these weird pointy things they look like boots from like old cartoons and I think I might use roofing to section this off like I want to get rid of the those weird little bump outs, those weird like hallways that are included in this build. So I'm gonna use my roofing, pull it up and like completely cover this entire thing. Yesterday was also the release of the new Sims 4 blooming rooms kit with all the plants and stuff. So I'm definitely gonna go with like greenhouse vibes in here, I think. Maybe with like the longer hallway, that's what we could use it for. I'm using this white fence here from Eagle Lifestyle. I'm gonna maybe bring this out. I like the height of this. And then I'm kind of thinking I could do a roof up top, but I think it's gonna have have to be like slanted. I've actually also brought in both of my adjusters. I've been enjoying how that looks with like just the clean cut, no overhang. I don't know why. I think it looks a little bit more modern. This here looks like a perfect opportunity for one of those like windows or skylights. Like I can just use a half gabled roof piece and pull it in. And this is where I could do like a glass roof. Honestly, the weird thing about this freaking challenge is every time I think I've got something, there's like another odd part of the build that I like haven't thought about. <laughs> like there's this triangle at the front I don't know how to roof that there's this like weird hallway which even though I have tried to like manipulate it it still doesn't make sense I think I'm gonna have to have a little bit of like overhang here but I could make maybe some kind of like patio moment right here this could be like a backdoor entry area or something <gasps> wait I could just kind of leave like a little window in there in the roofing oh that looks kind of good okay the bell just clicked the belt clicked and by the way let me tell you this has not been a one shot thing I have done so many different versions of this shell at this point. No, it doesn't look like much, but I have spent a solid like hour and a half already just trying to roof this. This is such a bad shell. Oh my God, it's it's hard. It's hard. We love a challenge. We do. I think I have something though. This is just gonna have to stay open. And if we go with the greenhouse idea, then we could even do, I don't know, like supplies up there. This could just be like a work area. And then down below, like inside the actual thing, this is gonna be my only area for actual functional, like like things <laughs> like my living room is gonna be in this room my kitchen is gonna be in this room and then the rest honestly don't have no idea <laughs> I think this triangle is just gonna get a half wall and we're gonna call it a day actually this could be where my chimney kind of goes we're gonna do a really thick roof trim on these parts here I'm actually even debating doing a little bit in the back like right here I feel like it's a little flat for me so I'm kind of thinking about taking this and doing the same thing but like maybe a little bit bigger in the back 
I think when you're attempting a really rough build challenge like this and you're not allowed to add any walls, roofing can really help. Like I didn't add any walls technically, but I've also changed the dimension of like the way that this shell works. I'm gonna go in using this snowy escape roofing and we're just gonna use the glass over top for that part. We're gonna need a ton of columns supporting this like overhang roof part. So I'm gonna go in with snowy escape in a white swatch. I don't know what color to do for my wallpaper, but I do think judging by this thing, I should try and get a door because this right here looks like a perfect entry area. Even on the inside, we have that hallway leading to the main area and you could go like to the <laughs> adventure land. So a door, I'm gonna use a medium height here. Maybe we use eco lifestyle in like a brown. There's gonna be tons of green in this build with all those new plants that we're gonna use. So I think with the earthy tones, this is really gonna work. And for my wallpaper, I'm actually thinking about going for like a blue. Yeah, I like that with like the white and the brown. Oh, this is actually gonna be cute. So I've done the wallpaper, I've done the trim, and all of my columns are pretty much done, but I'm going in with this season's bandrel moment, and I think they look really cute along just the top. It's a subtle difference, but even like at the front like that, I like how there's a little bit of the brown incorporated. So I've done that around the back patio area too. I think next we should try and do the windows. So I think I'm gonna carry on using Eco Lifestyle. I wanna keep with that same like color swatch. So I'm gonna put some windows in here. I actually think they're gonna look really good in between that like diagonal bit. I also think if we are gonna go with the greenhouse route that we could use these and it'll open it up. There's gonna be airflow. Plus I think they look really nice and like modern on this build. I'm also gonna open up these like little roofing pieces in there. So I've got that. This is gonna be a really nice like living area. We're gonna put our chimney where I was kind of thinking it would work right tucked in there. So all of my windows are done. I actually just had this idea to go in and use this piece here, which I think is from Get Together. And I'm gonna put that in between this instead of doing another window like we did in the back. That's gonna make that wall look solid, even though like on the inside, that wall doesn't really exist. <laughs> I also wanna put something right in between this front part. Like if I could get something that would fit right directly in there. What about this from Seasons? We put it on the front and we kind of like line it up so that it tucks in between those two columns, but it's gonna make a really cute little like plant wall. That's cute, wait. I'm gonna use that a lot more. You can size this up. You can make like bigger ones if you wanted. I never use that item. Ooh, I'm excited about that. I'm also building on like the biggest lot ever, like in Henford on Bagley. We need to move before I think I do the landscaping. So we have moved, I actually moved this to Windenburg and I'm on the park lot in like the community area. Like the nightclub is over there, the gym. And I figured this was adorable. I've never built here before, but there was these trees over there and it kind of looks like an orchard. So I figured it was a perfect location for our like big greenhouse inspired build. And I'm starting to work up top here with uh, my balconies. I want to do a fireplace. I want to utilize the new plant items, which I have my filter on here. So we're going to start to use some of those. Look at this freaking item. I don't know how I'm going to use it. Like I really want to put that maybe right up there. I've sized it up. It is freaking massive. Maybe that's a little too big. We could put it maybe in between our spandrels here. If I like shrink it back down to size or raise it up and I'm pretty sure there's other swatches we can use too. Yeah, like I want to use some darker ones to match the vines there. I know I'm going to use this all the time. That is so cute. Oh, that's going to go right there too. I'm actually shocked. There's a lot of swatches that come with this. I'm trying to figure out which one looks the best. That one looks kind of good. Oh my God, they're gorgeous. I actually forgot that this kit was coming out yesterday. I made a video. I completely forgot about it. And then it dropped and I was looking through these items. They're so cute. But I must say, I think it's time for some kind of organization here. There's like a decent amount of kits out at this point. Some organization between, you know, some of them would be great. <laughs> I'm just making a small little seating area out here on this balcony for now. I might even just use some, maybe just some chairs. These items here are basically gonna be our favorite thing for this build because I'm gonna be putting them on the balconies. We can put some along here. I wanna do like different sizes of them, but like that's a little too big, maybe a little smaller. I just realized we need somewhere to get up here. Like how do I get up here? Okay, wait, what if I did my stairs down this like awkward long hallway, like right in there and then that's how it connects. Wait, that's actually kind of perfect. I don't know like what I'm gonna put in there or if I should section it off completely. Like I could do a double and completely 
section it off, but like we might be able to use that space. I don't know yet. It does kind of look cool like that. I mean, if you did want to use that space, you could just put a door right there. It could end up being outdoor storage or something, but I'm not gonna get carried away. Let's focus on the task at hand, one step at a time with this freaking thing. <laughs> I do need to cover this up, so maybe Eco Lifestyle could come in handy with that, with like a nice big tree from Eco Lifestyle to balance it out. And we can use some more like potted plants out here. Let's get some of the new ones. I'm sure we're gonna repeat using some of these because I'm just so excited to like see them. Like, look how cute that is. Oh, and this one? Yeah, we're definitely gonna be repeating some of these on the inside for sure. I'm sort of tempted to use those shelving units just one by one, like the base game ones, and put some clutter on there. I know there's like the gardening things, like the gardening clutter from base game somewhere. I mean, I could never find it, but I know what's there. <laughs> oh, here it is. We'll get some shelf plants. And honestly, I think from like over here, I like it with minimal stuff on it. Okay, so that balcony area is done. Let's go through this part, which this right here is just gonna be storage. I need cardboard boxes. Ooh, this could be used for some good storage. That's a new item right there. And I'm also looking for the eco lifestyle. There's like a shelf with messy plant clutter. Ooh, we also have this one. Oh, there's so many we could use. This room over here, by the way, lost cause. Lost in the shambles. We're gonna forget about her. Out here, I'm also making this cute plant wall and I wanna put some lights in there, like brighten it up a little bit. Oh, this is cute. Let's get a trash can just in case it gets messy down here. Yeah, this new kit with Eco Lifestyle is like gold. It's so good. So in this room, I'm using some cottage living decor, any like plant stuff that I can get with like these cardboard boxes. And I also just added a window in here because we didn't have one just in case they wanted to like bring in some plants. I can still get some light. I've done a seating area over to that side and I don't want it to get too crazy. I think I'm gonna go into this room here and this could be maybe like a research room. I was thinking bedroom, but I don't think I want to do that. I want to do like work separate. Down below is like a home. So in here, let's try and make an office. So for my office, I really want to make something out of this new item from the blooming kit. By the way, I have a little, a little stinker down here. So if you hear snorting, it's her. She smells clean. I think this could look cool, but I think I might save this idea for something else. Maybe it could go like by a couch or something. Um, I haven't really decided yet. Don't lick the mic. <laughs> I think we could totally use the smaller version here though. I'm adding some more plants on top of my desk. This is great, honestly. This makes me wonder why they haven't done this before. <laughs> Over on this side, we're adding a little bit more clutter and this is gonna be our office area. I might just add something else on the wall, like a picture, but <laughs> maybe we go in with the plant combo from Tiny Living. All right, I'm so going overboard on this. We are gonna go downstairs. We're finished with the outside of the house. And now, like, I feel like this is part two because now we have to figure out how to make something of this awful layout. I'm gonna use cottage living flooring for the downstairs. It really only is like one floor that we're gonna be focusing on here. I think I accidentally made an indoor room. Let me show you. So this, let's go like undo a little bit. This is how it looked before. I've already done a bedroom over here. I'm doing a bathroom over there. Like I said before, all of the functional stuff will be over there, but this nightmare, I think it's from the roofing. Like I accidentally made this inside of my house. So I was wondering if I could make it in to a room somehow. And then we could open it up and get rid of this awful hallway. Hopefully, if everything works out the way that I'm thinking it might, we could do spandrels. I put this wall here before so we can delete that. This room has a ton of glitching with the walls, the lighting, the flooring, everything, which is to be expected. We are really pushing this shell to its limits and manipulating it and stuff. But I'm kind of thinking what I could do in here is like an indoor portion of the greenhouse. So I might actually change this back into a door and section that off completely and like because there's so many spandrels up top I think I could do hanging plants in here we could do the whole bit and that'll be the final portion of the greenhouse so I'm gonna do my best to use end tables around we're gonna fill this entire room up to the brim with plants oh I haven't even seen this yet this is a light oh my god that's adorable that's from the new plant kit we are using these I'm also trying to hide the glitching wall with, with like some wall decor from Eco Lifestyle I also wanted to hang some of them from the ceiling so there's this one we can change it up with the swatches and like put this one there. I'm also gonna get the paranormal hanging plant because this is still OG in my heart. We are gonna use this new shelf and we're gonna play around with some different swatches. These are so good because even though they are the same plant, the swatches are different enough for you to be able to like play around with the same item. If that makes sense, like this stuff is so cute. I could take another plant kit and be happy, honestly. Like EA, if you're listening. <laughs> okay, this is our plant room. 
Um, like this is greenery heaven, basically. I think the final thing I want to add is like a floral arranging table because like it just fits. <laughs> Plus that'll be another thing for your sim to be able to do in here other than just come in and like be surrounded by the plants. That'll actually work. So we are going to finally move on to the rest of the house. We're going to try and get this to look cute and cohesive. I think I'm going to use this wave stone from Eco Lifestyle for like the main portion of the house. Maybe with a nice bright yellow bedroom. I feel like whoever lives here is obviously loves the outdoors. So this bright like yellow color I think could be really cute. I'm definitely going to grab that other light that we got. This can be like right in the middle here. Of course some of my plants are like peeking through. Like how could they not be? There's so many. I want to like shrink this and like make something different out of it. I'm gonna have to play around. That can make a cute like chandelier somehow. So for the front area I'm gonna use this hallway table with the jungle adventure mirror right when you walk in. We're gonna do eco lifestyle like water thing right there at the front with a chair and and this is gonna be our entry area and then this could go over here and we could put like a desk or something right there or a bookshelf. Those shelves are adorable. I feel like we could use those a lot. I've used them sized up already in this build. Yeah maybe this is like a writing area or something. I don't know. I like it. I'm not gonna put a computer. I just want that to be like a little desk. I think we should do living room and then kitchen along the back. So for my living room I want to do a big fireplace I think. I'm picturing the one from Cottage Living with like the brick. Like this one could look really good right in between there. Do you think I could get the kit thing like the big plant over this? Oh my god wait. Oh it's not perfect but I'm wondering if it's like good enough. Like it's kind of it doesn't want to like go out far enough but I think it might be okay like it's still going down this side. If I size it up it's way too freaking big. But I kind of like that. That's so cute. You could even use that for curtains. I still have this item which I wanted to do something special with. Maybe it'll go in my bedroom. Okay I kind of love that. It's super weird but I think it almost works. Wait. We do end table, end table and then some kind of plant thing on each one or some lighting maybe since there's already plants on the background. I literally can't stop with this pack. Like I keep using it or kit. I keep using everything from it. I think I'm gonna do a dresser on this side and then I need to get out of here because like I zoom out and it's just plant heaven. <laughs> I'm doing dream home decorator like shelving for closets and that's what I'm gonna do there. We're gonna clutter that up, add a mirror to the side. I think I need like a plant counter in this build. <laughs> I'm gonna finish this off with a snowy escape rug to the side there and this is our bedroom. I absolutely love that. It's a lot squishier than it needs to be realistically but I think it looks really cute. Okay back to the original plan here which was the living room. I think I'm gonna do a sectional from Dream Home Decorator in this green color. We're definitely gonna use this new end table as well. I haven't even seen this. Oh, I keep finding new things. It's because of the freaking filter. Or maybe I should have like not gone head on in when I like first downloaded this. I was just excited but now everything is like lost and I keep discovering new items. Look how cute that is. I don't know what swatch to use. I wish there was like an orange. I'm gonna put that back like that. I want to use this shelf but I feel like it's a little bulky for where I want it to go. It could go right here maybe or in the kitchen which now that I think about it might go here anyway. So I'm gonna do a kitchen along the back there with the island right here and oh that looks cute. I like that. We have our essentials. I'm gonna get all of the clutter and then because I have the room over here I think I could maybe do like a bigger dining space even though I don't like how it has to go through the living room. I think we probably could have done this layout a little bit better but considering this freaking shell I think we've done a pretty freaking good job. <laughs> all right let's move out of here. We're gonna do the final room in the house which is the bathroom. I'm gonna probably fly through this and do it pretty quickly because I'm pushing four hours on this build. So we're keeping it pretty simple in the bathroom. I've got my yellow little bath mat there. We've got a bathtub, toilet, all the essentials and I think we're gonna finish it off with a yellow robe from base game right in the corner there. So this is the final for what I've done for this shell challenge. This is really really hard. Um, if you do this definitely approach with caution. Once again a shout out to fake gamer girl who created this monstrosity. You can find her link in the description down below. You can find this whole build on the gallery under Sydney Macreta if you want to download it and that's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.